Let's write the balance net ionic equation for nickel plus copper to nitrate. So we'll start out by balancing the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So both nickel and copper, they're metals. They're by themselves, so they're solids. And then nitrates, very soluble. Because of that, they're aqueous. They're dissolved in the water and they split apart into their ions. So once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. It looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Once we have that, we cross out spectator ions. They're the same on both sides. In the reactants, I have these two nitrate ions here. I also have them in the products. So these are spectator ions. Get rid of those, but everything else, it's unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Ni plus CuNO3 too. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for nickel plus copper to nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus and two plus in the products. So those are the same. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Ni plus CuNO3 2. Do note the type of reaction here is single displacement, the nickel that displaces the copper. Thanks for watching.